So in 2008, I co-started a video production business and let's just say things started a little slow. I tried cold calling, door knocking, blindly emailing YouTube videos, discounts and specials, but let's just say we weren't getting a lot of traction. So we thought it was just a matter of getting the right email address, using the right email font, using the right color, the number of emails, sending faster letters, sending colorful envelopes, sending lots of different envelopes, the day that we were sending emails, sending multiple emails on the same day, spamming emails, embedding links in emails. <sighs> But let's just say it wasn't until we really sat down and analyzed what the industry was lacking and then honed our services and our messaging using a website that things really took off. So when Hostinger, the sponsor of this video approached me, I saw it as a perfect opportunity to show you how I've personally used a website to attract more paying clients and get more paid work. And I want to show you too, step by step, how you can create a website and ultimately lead to getting your name out there and getting more paid work. So you might ask if everything's done through social media now, why do you need a website? Well, I can personally speak firsthand because I've built two successful businesses off the back of a website. And I know just how powerful having a good website is in this online space. One of the biggest differences between social media and having a website is that social media is all formatted the same. A website can be made to be completely different. So you can customize it down to exactly the look and the information that you want to display to your clients. The other thing is a website makes you stand out as a creator. When I'm looking at resumes, the first thing I always click on is a website. I'm not gonna waste hours going onto your social media profile and watching videos. I just go straight to the website where I know that I'm gonna get the information that I need to make the best informed decision at that point. The other thing is that setting up a website is just so affordable and easy to do. So there's really no excuses for not having one in this online space. Okay, okay, so by now you're like, Ross, we get it, we're convinced, we need a website. How do we do that? And what are the steps that you need to take? Now I've chosen to partner with Hostinger specifically for this video, not only because they are very affordable, but I genuinely believe that their services will be of benefit to a lot of you in this community. The best thing about them is they're an all-in-one platform. So they offer you a hosting plan, you get a domain and a platform to build an entire website, plus you get lots of other features included and you also get lots of stuff included for free. So the first thing you want to do is head over to hostinger.com forward slash Flatpak Effects. You can also use the link in the description below and it's gonna take you straight over to this page here where you'll be able to select the hosting plan that you're going to use. So from the basics of setting up a website, there's three things that you're going to need. You're going to need a domain, you're going to need a hosting and a way of building a website. Well, Hostinger basically offers you all of that inside one affordable package. So one of the main reasons why I went with Hostinger, they offer 24 seven multilingual support, which is really great. They have 99.9% .9 uptime with really fast hosting servers, which is really important when it comes to getting the fastest speed out of your website. And they also offer 30 day money back guarantee. So you can pretty much try any of these plans for the next 30 days. And if you're not happy, then they're gonna give you that 30 day money back guarantee support. Now, if you're trying to choose between the three different packages here, I would personally choose the premium shared hosting. The reason for this is that it includes a free domain that you don't get in the base package and also has a free email and you get more website storage with unlimited bandwidth as well. And they're also currently running a Black Friday deal. So you're gonna get all of this stuff for only a little bit more than the base package. Plus you're getting a great deal because it's currently on sale with the Black Friday sales. And because they're a really well established brand, they come with great support and a great knowledge base of different videos and stuff that you can watch that are gonna walk you through lots of great written and video guides on how you can set up your website from start to finish. So as I mentioned, even if you go with the base package, you're still going to have to find a domain, which you're gonna to have to pay for through a third party provider, and then you're gonna to have to link it to your account. Whereas with this second one for a little bit more, you're gonna be paying less and you're gonna get that included. Plus you get the added benefit of having the free emails and all the other stuff that's included with that plan. 
All right, so now I'm gonna walk you step by step to show you how easy it is to set up your hosting or account. So all you have to do is select the plan you want and add it to cart. Then you can select the hosting plan that you want to purchase. You can then enter in your email address to set up your account or you can use Google or Facebook. And the other thing is if you enter in a coupon code, I've added a special coupon code down in the description below and that's gonna give you another additional 10% off. So you can enter that in and apply that and then you can select the secure payment. And now you're in your hosting or account and you're ready to start building your website. Now before we do that, I'm going to claim my free domain that's available to me. So I'm gonna type out the name that I want for my domain. So this is gonna be the www whatever this is going to be. And then here I can choose Choose what I want it to be. In this case, I want to choose a .com and I can search for that availability. And as I said, they include that free domain as part of that premium hosting plan. You can then enter in all your contact details and then just hit finish registration and it's going to automatically register that domain and attach it to your account. And then we're ready to start building our website. It's that simple. Now is the point that we're going to start creating our website. But before we do that, this is now the perfect time to stop and think about a plan for how we're going to lay out our website or the things that we're going to include in our website that are going to make it really stand out. In short, the more you niche, the better it's going to be for you to make yourself stand out. To get started, you want to think about the areas that most interest you in video production or animation, or you can even search for what is most popular online. So a niche might already be creating animations, but a niche within a niche might be creating Vox style animations, for instance. So the more that you can specialize in something, the more likely it is that you're gonna stand out and the more likely that people will know you to be that specialist in that area. And that's really important for building your own portfolio and building your own brand awareness. One of the best things I did was I did jobs for free for various brands and then I use those videos to then in turn get new brands to come on board. So you're essentially trading your services for free in order to get paid via the brand awareness essentially. And then you can use that to then get another client. And maybe even some of those clients might be paid. The major benefit of doing this is that you're not only getting experience by doing the jobs, you're also getting brands that necessarily wouldn't have paid you straight up to make videos for them. Now, even if you go and contact some of these brands and they're still not interested in getting a free video or an animation made, then that's okay. What you can do is basically make mock-up videos. If you wanted to make, say, a Nike style commercial or a video or an animation, you can make something similar and then brand it as your own work. You know, it's about demonstrating the skill sets that you have to various clients that you might be going after. Now, also you want to try and keep it in that niche. You don't want to be the all-rounder. So you don't want to be a director, a producer, a singer, songwriter, you know, an animator all in one. You basically want to have a very specific set of skills and hone everything around that. So the language of your website, the design, and the videos that you make are all building on that very specific niche. Essentially, any website needs to achieve three things. It needs to clearly tell people what you're about and the services that you offer. It needs to be able to build your brand credibility or your personal credibility through the brands that you've worked with. And it also needs a very clear way for people to contact you. That is really the only three things your website should be setting out to achieve. And this is the difference between websites that just overload you with information and very clear and concise websites. All right, so to set up your website, the first thing you wanna do is just start working through the prompts. I can basically just select what I'm using this website for. I'm just gonna be creating it for myself and I'm building it myself and I want it to be an online portfolio. This will also give you the option if you want help or not when you're setting it up. For us, we're gonna be building a new website and here they're gonna basically give you the option. They've got this new website builder. It's more like a drag and drop editor. It doesn't require any coding skills. So if you're new to building websites, you definitely wanna check that one out. For us, I'm gonna be using WordPress, it's free it's easy to use and download 
and it's gonna help us configure all of that. And here it's gonna give us basically a bunch of different options for how we'd like to customize our website or the overall look. The main things really to take into account with any good website is having just very clear and concise information. For me, I'm gonna go with this one. So I'm just gonna select and continue. Then you can just go through, finish that setup by following the prompts on screen. And it's automatically gonna do all of this stuff for you in the background so you don't have to code anything and you don't have to worry about doing any complicated setup. All right, so that's pretty much the hard part completely over. Now is the fun part of building the website. So I've gone over to my domain here. I can either come up here and customize or I can use edit with Elementor. And Elementor is basically like a free plugin inside of WordPress. And it allows you to basically edit the website using like drag and drop style features. So I can drag sections over and place them wherever I need them to be if I wanted to add more text, for instance. So I could just type some text out here, whatever I need it to be and just kind of edit this page. The other thing I can also do is if I come in here and just search for a contact, I can add a, a basically like a WordPress form here and I can just select it to be a contact form. And it's basically gonna add this all in so that I can have that and ready to use as a contact form. And you can basically just do this to any of the sections on the individual pages. Now there are some limitations by doing it this way, but you do have a lot of control. And if you don't have any website skills, you know, building a lot of these sort of websites, then this is a great option for you. And this is also not gonna be a full step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do everything inside of WordPress, because there's lots of tutorials out there on how to customize all of the different elements using WordPress. So once you're done, all you need to do is just hit this update button and I can go back to the main website and that's automatically going to show you all of those changes that you've just made. Now I can also do some other really cool things with WordPress. I can come up here to the customize menu and then I can basically edit any of these things. I can also hit on this header bar here and it's going to display this part. So I could just remove that section and I can remove this button and search here if I don't want that. Even I can remove the primary menu. So I've just got this header section up here and that's maybe all I want to do. There's a rule about the three second rule. So you should be looking at your website for three seconds and quickly look away. If you can't tell what you're about or what you stand for or what the service that you offer, then either it's not necessary what you've put there or it's not very clear enough to the target audience audience. So it needs to be a really clear message. On this example here, which I found on Behance, you can see that this first section here, I'm a graphic designer. You know, it's very clear what that person is and what they stand for. Under that, I always like to build that brand trust. I'm using logos. That's a great way to deliver brand trust. You know, if you've worked with some of these brands, people recognize and trust those brands. So when you say that you've been working alongside them, this gives you a lot of credibility as a video or an animator working in the industry. Then the next section down is generally where you would put your services or up here you can add your skills. So this is really important because obviously you're selling yourself. So you need to be really clear about what it is that you're offering people or what you can bring to clients. Another good thing to add into your website from this example here is a, an, an area of recent projects. So this is where you're going to add in different projects that you've worked on, which will be actual videos. Now, as I've spoken about earlier in the video, you can use different projects that you've done for different brands that you may have done for free. This is where you can add them in. Another really good and effective thing you can add here is testimonials. So if you have some video testimonials or even written testimonials from clients, underneath that, you also want to add some way for people to contact you. So this is the third and most important point. You need a really clear way for them to contact you. Inside of WordPress, you can also come down here to plugins and you can add new ones. There's lots of great free ones in here. You can also see what are the different features available in these different forms. And then all you need to do is just install it and then you can just drag and drop that into your WordPress website and make a contact form. Another one here is from a good friend of mine who works over in the States and this is his website here, very clean, very clear and concise. He's a creative manager and a video producer. He's got a decade of experience. He's got these trust brands here. He's got a list of some of the projects that he's been working on. Again, he doesn't overload you with all of these videos, just demonstrating the different skill sets that he has. It's very clear. 
He's got a little bit more about the sort of work that he does. And at the bottom here, he's just got a simple contact form. And that's all you really need in creating a really good and effective website. As someone who's hired a lot of freelance creators in the past, I need to understand what you're gonna bring to the table for me. How are you gonna benefit my business when I hire you. So that's really important. There's really no good reason why you shouldn't have a website at least out there working for you while you're sleeping. It's gonna allow you to get more paid work. It's gonna increase your brand and portfolio awareness. As I've shown you, to create a website from scratch is really straightforward. It can be done in a very short period of time. And again, using the Hostinger all-in-one platform, you can basically get everything you need to create a website from scratch. Plus you're getting access to all of those great features. You're getting great support. There's lots of tutorial videos out there to walk you through all the process. You're also getting the free domain and you're also getting an email address as well. So you can really make your whole website look super professional. Again, you can check out those Black Friday deals via the link in the description below. Also, don't forget to use the Flatpak FX code. That's gonna give you another 10% off. And yeah, I'd love to see how you guys go with creating your own websites, maybe even link to them in the description of this video, or even some of you can send me a private link to your website and I can give you some personal feedback on how it's laid out and the things you can do to maybe make it even better. That's it for me for this video. I know it's been a long one. Thanks very much for watching. If you like this video, you can also give it a thumbs up. If you love this video, maybe consider subscribing to this channel. You can check out more videos over here on the side of screen. Thanks for watching and thank you to Hostinger for sponsoring this video. That's it from me and I'll catch you in the next one.